Morning, friends. I'm not sure if you guys saw the video or even some of the text from Rhode Island Representative David Cicilline in the hearing yesterday where they were marking up H.R. 1808. And let me play that for you real quick. What this stabilizing brace, which is depicted here, when, a, when attached here, it turns this weapon into an automatic weapon. This bumps, it becomes a bump stock. And so it will allow that to essentially be fired like an automatic weapon. That's the danger. So I have to very strongly oppose the amendment. This is a legislator. This is somebody who was voted into office. Now get this, to make laws. This is a person responsible, put into a position to make things illegal or legal for us. I don't really think He's willfully stupid in this case. In other words, I don't think he knows better and he's just saying these things anyway because he has to know that there's 100 million gun owners in the, in the United States. So that's potentially 100 million people that know that he's lying or that he's willfully stupid. So it makes him look stupid. So he's got to know that that can affect him being voted back in. Again, all these people care about is being reelected. So surely he's got to know that that could be something that could affect him being reelected. But I'm more concerned with the very fact that these people are trying to perpetuate lies and myths out there and create new ones. Honestly, I don't think anybody in the general public in the whole United States, even people who are anti-gun, believed what he said. This was a new one. This, I mean, you've heard bump, the bump stock argument that bump stock make things fully automatic. But this is a new lie. This is a new myth that was said, and he'll never retract it, even though it's provably wrong. And it's, I mean, look, it's not even provably wrong. The fact that I'm giving it even any time makes it look like I'm validating what he said, that there could be an ounce of truth. It's, it's so preposterous. It's like me being anti-green, anti-wind, and going out there and saying in a hearing with congressional people to make laws, and I'm trying to uh, voice my opinion against wind energy, and I say that, do you know that they take the foreskin from dead babies and grind them up and make lightning bolts that shoot up into this thing and go out and kill everybody and, and carve off a part of their brain in the back, and this is how this works, and it's purposely done like that? If I were to say something like that, do you think somebody would question it? Do you think somebody in the room might be Googling, Googling it and going, that sounds really crazy. I wonder if that's true. Surely somebody has Googled this. I, I mean, Google is not our friend and Google will tell you what a stabilizing brace does. The danger is that this man is trying to make up something that doesn't exist, make up things about something that are completely not true, not even close to being true. Look, I'm not even going to go into the fact of what a stabilizing brace does because we all know. And again, I know I'm in an echo chamber here. Nobody's going to watch this video who didn't already know what a stabilizing brace was. But the fact that this man is saying these things in order to change a law, he, he's not doing this in conversation. He's not doing this because he's upset about stabilizing braces. He's doing this because he's trying to get other members of Congress to instate a law against stabilizing braces because he says it makes guns fully automatic. So that's the danger of it. He's not done any research. This is like the guy who has been hired to sing the national anthem that doesn't take the time to learn the words. And then he gets up there and he starts singing the words, the lyrics to maybe a Led Zeppelin or a Pantera song instead. And then tells everybody, these are the words. <laughs> And he's singing Mouth for War from Pantera instead. Let's not forget that this man just isn't just on this panel. He's making laws for the whole country in every other way. He's making laws for bridges. He's making laws for taxes. He's making laws for how buildings are built. That's what these people are doing. That's why this is so dangerous. Thank you for calling the office of Congressman David Cicilline. The congressman greatly appreciates hearing from constituents, and he looks forward to listening to your message. Please leave your name, phone number, Rhode Island address, and a brief description of the issue or concern that you're calling about. Thank you for calling. 
Yes, my name is Paul Glasgow. I live in Louisiana. I don't live in the uh, district of Cicilline, but since Cicilline is trying to take away my Second Amendment rights, and he's doing it based on total ignorance, I felt like I needed a call. I'm not sure if Cicilline is an idiot or if he's purposely omitting information or if he's willfully ignorant or willfully stupid. Because the comments he made about a stabilizing brace <laughs> making an AR-15 uh, automatic weapon or even operating like a bump stock is so stupid that it makes me question everything else that Cicilline has ever voted on, especially those items that he doesn't agree with, because clearly he does no research. Google is not even pro-gun, and Google would tell him how stupid his comments were. Please educate this man. Please educate him, because this fool is voting on things that directly affect the American public, and I'm absolutely ashamed to not only be an American, but a human whenever I hear some idiot spout things like that, that any third grader could easily pick up a smartphone or anything like that and confirm that is absolutely wrong. I, I have to think that this man either lied on purpose to try to make his case, or he's really that stupid.